they still don't know what the thing is or what it's doing here. Ah, Granny knows. She says it's a hide-and-seeker, a member of an ancient race of beings who play hide-and-seek all over the universe. And apparently, where there's one, there's many more. Oh, hide-and-seek. Tiny loves that game. Small wants to know how many more are hiding. Four. Each one a different colour. Red, green, orange and yellow. Aha! Well done, Tiny. She's already found the yellow one. Three more to find. Good luck, everyone. There's the soup dragon. Hmm. The soup dragon's not seen that lid before. That's the green one found. Well done. Oh, the soup dragon thinks this is all far too strange for her. She's going back to her soup. Here come the others, into Mother's garden. Aha! They found the red one. Now, just one more to find. The orange one. Any orange things in here? No, only froglets. Nothing in here. No luck here either. Oh, watch out! Any luck? No, just another froglet. And here is Small, on his way to see her. Huh, Small has some blocks too. I think these blocks need closer inspection. It looks like the blocks are a puzzle. Tiny and small love puzzles. Oh, Mother's sending Major over. Oh, there's a block missing. Baby Soup Dragon has found a little wooden block by his bed too. The music trees. Perhaps they will find another clue there. Oh, now Granny's knitting needle has gone missing. Something fishy is going on here. Oh, could that be another clue? Look at that! It's the tin bird! Oh no! The tin bird has flown off with the next clue. And she's flown down into that crater. But 
how lucky Small has recognised the cave. Perhaps all is not lost. Baby Soup Dragon has spotted the tin bird. There's Major Spanner and Mother's Trowel. The tin bird is quite the collector, like a little magpie. However, will they get their things back? Tiny and Small are going to fetch help while Baby Soup Dragon stands watch. Tiny and Small are saying that the tin bird has taken their clue and placed it in its treasure-filled nest, high up on a ledge in the crystal cave. Oh dear, poor Soup Dragon. Ah, I see. Baby Soup Dragon wants to know why he has a tail. What's it for? Oh, good. The soup dragon's going to show him. Now then, she says that his tail keeps him steady as he walks. And his tail keeps him steady when he bends down. Baby soup dragon is disappointed. It looks like he hoped his tail was for something more interesting. But no, that's it. His tail is just for balancing. Well, he's not happy with that, so he's off to ask another creature with a tail. There's Mother, feeding a sky moo. Sky moons use their tails to shoo away annoying glow buzzers. Excellent! Baby Soup Dragon is going to try to do that with his tail. Hmm. Looks like his tail is not for shooing away glow buzzers. What's that noise? Oh, look. Major's oiling the rudder on the music boat. How interesting. Baby Soup Dragon thinks it looks like a tail. Major's going to show him what the rudder does. Aha! Baby Soup Dragon loves the way the rudder steers the boat. How kind. Major is letting him have a go now. He might be regretting that decision. Now then, Baby Soup Dragon wants to try using his tail like a rudder. He thinks it will help him to steer when he's running fast. Yes, it's working. They're coming nearer. away again. Now Smalls had an interesting idea. As the toots are a bit like the hoots, perhaps if they met the hoots, they wouldn't feel so shy. Well, anything's worth a go. What's that? It's a little rocket. A 
a little rocket to alert the hooks on the hoot planet. And it's worked. The hoot planet is on its way. Time for some more music. Oh, and some more music from the toots, too. Very nice. Aha! Here comes a hoot. Oh dear, that was a very loud hoot. And that was an even louder hoot. Yes, the hoot needs to hoot a little more quietly if it wants to make friends with the toots. Scared by the hoot, they're even more scared by a dragon in a soupy cave. <laughs> Poor soup dragon. He was only saying hello. Well, I suppose anything's worth a go. Looks like a robot. <laughs> wow, the robot has picked up all the rubbish. That was so quick. Oh, the robot can speak just like the clangers. The robot has come to help. Major is keen to take the robot to meet everyone down below. Sweep faster than mother. Tiny and small are going to introduce the robot to everyone else. The robot has all sorts of interesting tools. Tools for every possible need. job that the robot can't do, I wonder? It looks like the clangers are having a lovely time together, now that the friendly robot has taken care of their chores. Mother's quite taken with the new helping machine. She thinks that Major is very clever to have found and fixed it. They're playing cotton ball.
Hermione is having trouble concentrating on the game. Oh, another froglet. She wants to know where those froglets keep coming and going from. Oh! Small's not happy. Now they don't have a ball to play with. Where could that ball have got to? Oh dear! Well, I never. It's a world of... of... top hats! Tiny's calling back to Small. She says she's OK. And she's found the cotton ball. Yes, good idea, Small. It's time to fetch a grown-up. Oh no. Tiny's forgotten which top hat she came out of. Are you sure that's the right one, Tiny? Oh, goodness me. 